quote from Charles Coulson, It is claimed by some that the universe created itself, but this violates a fundamental law of logic, the law of contradiction, which states that the universe cannot be itself and the thing it created at the same time. We are facing the greatest cosmological puzzle of modern times. The James Webb Telescope found the first real evidence to shake our cosmology. Was everything we thought we knew about the Big Bang and the formation of the first stars really wrong? It is too late for old explanations. We are at the beginning of a completely new era of cosmology. One of the largest computer simulations the world of science has ever seen has revealed astonishing things about the young universe. But can this experiment really explain everything that the James Webb Telescope shows us? Charles Coulson firmly believed that we live in a universe based on logic and rationality, where everything can be proven with facts and figures. But is he really right when he claims that the universe cannot possibly be creator and creation in one? The fact of the matter in cosmology is that all the theories that we have built for decades on the laws of logic and physics are beginning to falter. Some even go so far as to claim that since the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, we have been standing on the shambles of the old physics. This is due to some galaxies that are so old and so perfect that, according to the old laws of cosmology, they should not even exist. But perhaps our universe simply does not follow the laws we have believed in for years. Researchers around the world are struggling to find answers, and the starburst theory may provide a serious new explanation as to how brightly shining and highly developed galaxies were already shining in space just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. The impossible galaxies are a problem. Let's travel back to the summer of 2022. The James Webb Telescope was the new superstar of astronomy. Thousands of scientists and space enthusiasts were eagerly awaiting the first images. The very first image shook the scientific community. At first, everyone was thrilled by the sharpness and dimensions of the image, but then came the shock. The oldest points of light in this image are heavily redshifted and originate from light sources that existed billions of years ago. After a few days, a researcher announced the discovery of a galaxy with a redshift of Z equals 13, followed by further discoveries of galaxies that are said to have redshifts of up to 20 Z. Galaxies with redshifts of around 13 Z existed between 200 and 300 million years after the Big Bang. But here comes the problem with the previous standard model of cosmology. According to these models, completed galaxies should only appear 1 to 2 billion years after the Big Bang. After a long epoch of complete darkness in the universe, the age of reionization slowly brought light into the universe. The first stars emitted intense radiation into the environment, making the omnipresent fog of hydrogen gas transparent. This phase marked a turning point in the history of the universe, laying the foundations for the formation of complex structures from which other stars, galaxies, and galaxy clusters later emerged. This is how the dark and opaque early universe became an illuminated, dynamic, and constantly evolving cosmos. According to this view, one to two billion years after the Big Bang, there were probably at most the first dwarf galaxies, which became larger and larger galaxies through mergers over a further billion years. However, James Webb shows us high redshift galaxies that were already complexly structured and very bright 200 to 300 million years after the Big Bang. Does the starburst model explain galaxy formation? What if the universe, in its darkest and earliest era, had been the scene of cosmic fireworks so different from the old theories? After the shattering findings of the James Webb Telescope, scientists fed the world's best computers with the new data. The result was one of the most comprehensive computer simulations of the development of the early universe. With the help of the new data from James Webb, the programs calculated scenarios that explain the existence of impossible galaxies and still adhere to the Big Bang and the gradual development of the cosmos. In the new explanations, the light was created by a spectacular explosion of star formation. Scientists call this phenomenon starbursts, and we are familiar with such regions of extreme star formation in today's universe. In the early universe, such a firework-like birth of many new stars could have transformed the initially dark universe into a shining sea of light and matter in a much shorter time. The idea of bursty star formation offers a new look at the mechanisms behind the formation of the first galaxies and it assumes that star formation did not take place in a steady flow, but in massive bursts. 
During these stellar explosions, huge amounts of gas and dust condensed under the influence of their own gravity and ignited a large number of new stars at record speed, filling their surroundings with a bright light. The early and very advanced galaxies discovered by James Webb stand out, among other things, for their high brightness. The galaxies are much brighter and more massive than their young age would suggest. And this could be an indication of episodic and violent bursts of star formation. Detailed computer simulations supporting this model calculate new and complex dynamics between gas, dust, and the radiation of young stars. The simulations clearly show, in accordance with the current rules of astrophysics, how certain conditions within the young universe could lead to rapid phases of star formation. Other physical conditions in the young universe? What could have triggered this sudden starburst and what explains why scientists did not figure it out earlier? It is suspected that various dynamic processes in the young universe took place quite differently than previously assumed. Previously unknown gravitational interactions or the influence of dense gas clouds may have triggered these enormous star formation rates. The simulations show how interstellar extreme gas can be compressed and how this process could have created the conditions for the rapid formation of many new stars. Traditional models painted a picture of gradual accretion of matter and comparatively slow star formation. The new picture paints a scenario of violent and irregular star formation events. But can these observations be proven by further facts? The crisis was triggered by the high-resolution observations made by the James Webb Space Telescope, which showed us that galaxies were present much earlier and that they evolved more rapidly than previously assumed. The simulations seem plausible at first, but if we look at the bigger picture, the new idea has a catch. The old models were based on observations of galaxy movements, the cosmic microwave background, and the behavior of light. They took all the known data together and calculated back to events such as the Big Bang and the Dark Ages. The calculations worked until James Webb showed us something else. However, these fundamental factors of cosmology tell us something else. The universe must be largely homogeneous, or in other words, uniform, in its basic structures. Huge, stellar explosions are highly inhomogeneous events due to their extreme concentration in one spot of their intensity. They can only have been an exception in young space, but not the rule. It is possible that, without knowing it, we aim the new space telescope at precisely such a region in the universe in which the bursty star formation was predominant. But then there would also have to be regions that show the linear and homogeneous evolutionary structure. And so far, there is no evidence for this. Starbursts typically occur in regions where the density of gas and dust is particularly high, leading to the rapid formation of stars. These regions are, of course, embedded in the larger fabric of the universe, where uniformity must prevail on cosmic scales. If we look at a larger picture, then the extremes of rapid stellar evolution should merge into a larger homogeneous structure. However, we currently lack further important observations to be able to say for sure. Collision of massive objects in the early universe. Webb has struck again and served the researchers another piece of the puzzle that doesn't quite fit into the old picture. How can it be that massive objects collided in the universe around 7 billion years ago if these massive objects did not even exist yet? Here, scientists are faced with another puzzle. Webb's observations fascinate and divide the scientific community. The event observed by Webb, which also violently shakes the foundations of our cosmological theories, is the monumental merging of gigantic galaxy clusters. The James Webb Space Telescope revealed a colossal collision that led to the formation of the El Gordo Galaxy Cluster. According to the standard cosmic model, galaxies form slowly at first and merge over billions of years to form larger and larger structures. The existence of such a massive cluster of galaxies as El Gordo in an early epoch of the universe does not fit the current theories of galaxy formation, nor can the new ideas of starbursts explain this huge collection of galaxies only six to seven billion years after the Big Bang. The idea of rapid star-forming regions must remain localized for the rest of the picture to be correct, and the new explanation can only have been an exception. However, if we look at the enormous galaxy cluster, the bursty star formation must have been the rule, and this again contradicts other basic cosmological rules. 
Cosmology and astrophysics are currently in a fix in all directions. The presence of the early, highly developed and bright galaxies, the enormous galaxy clusters, and ancient, gigantic black holes speak a completely different language for many skeptics. Since the beginning of the James Webb era, the universe has appeared to us to be much older than previously assumed, possibly even infinite. Did the universe create itself? It sounds crazy, but the universe may have created itself after all, and the new observations could be the first proof of this. All of the impossible observations and the wavering of the old explanations of classical physics could lead to an opening that finally brings us the great field theory. The theory that can describe creation in its entirety and unites the laws of general relativity with quantum physics. Here it's not so likely that our universe is both creator and creation, and that it possibly possesses an intelligence that we have not yet understood. Loop quantum gravity, for example, postulates an eternal cycle of expansion and contraction. The universe would then be eternal in itself and would actually recreate itself at regular intervals. There would then be starting points that resemble a Big Bang, but within such a cosmos, there would also be forces and dimensions that we are not yet aware of. Subscribe to the channel now. The best videos are still to come.